Welcome. This is Emo on Emo's Rock and Roll Magic Show on 101.5 KOCI. And it is with great pleasure to announce that we have Jefferson Starship here with us today. So thank you so much for meeting with me. It's such an honor to be speaking with such a legendary band that really captures the authentic and rebellious spirit of rock and roll that is missing in so much of today's music. So thank you again for joining us. So are you ready to answer some questions with us today? Of course. Depends on what they are. We might still be rebellious. That's great. That's what I was hoping for. I, I can really tell. So, Little Birdie did tell me that you have a show this Friday at the Coach House in San Juan Capistrano. Is this still correct? That is so correct. That That is great. So, can you tell our listeners what they might expect at this show? Are you going to be playing more classics? Do you have some new songs? Or what's going to be going down here on Friday? Well, we have several several levels of classic with this band. Yes, I love it. <laughs> so we could go we could go all the way back to Jefferson Airplane Classic or Jefferson Starship Classic, and maybe even sneak into the just plain old Starship period for a moment. Just just a short moment, and yes, we can be going even more classic than that. <laughs> but, I, but that's a complete secret. Oh, this is great! I love all these uh, levels. we will have to come to the show to find out about that one. Yes, ah, uh, yes. Can't give too much away, can ya? <laughs> so can you explain for me a little bit what you mean by these levels? Because I know you have gone through a lot of changes from Jefferson Airplane to just Starship to Jefferson Starship. Can you explain some of those differences for us? Well, let's see. I can say my, my, my history actually started in a band called Quicksilver Messenger Service, which I was in before Jefferson Starship, before Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, that's and, some great stuff there. We've played a lot of your songs there, too. Thanks. Great. Yeah. And then when <laughs> we, then when we uh, went to Jefferson Airplane, so then, I, so now we, then we could do a, a plethora of songs there. And the person that's not here is Kathy Richardson and Jude Gold, our guitar, the lead guitar player, is fantastic. They're busy off at work somewhere right now. They got more jobs than rock and roll? Kathy has something she has to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard her voice before with you guys, and I was blown away. Her voice is so powerful and just so strong. Do you treat her well on the road as she's the only girl in the band? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> she treats us well, too. Yeah. Yeah, she fits in well with all the boys. And, yeah, yeah. And I, and I, well, I, got to, I was going to mention that we have all those great, great slick songs, and so I had to, I wanted to bring her in because she 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 brings Grace's aura in somehow right 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 through herself. It just seems so natural. She has the same kind of power. That's really good. Yeah, I've noticed that from when I've seen her, and I also saw that she's even filled in for Janice Joplin with Big Brother and the Holding Company. And she's played Janice in a musical, Love Janice. So I think that's so cool to bring someone who's younger, but still has that same aura as you spoke of with Grace Slick and all these rock and roll legends. So that's definitely oh, something that our sure. listeners need to see. She, uh, she, was, she was, um, let's see, was she, we were playing a gig with Big Brother and the Holding Company, and she was singing with them when we, when we first met her. And they opened the show, and we listened to her and said, whoa. Yeah. And I became fan immediately and then when after they played she came back and said you know i've been i've been a jefferson starship fan since i was a teenager because i had your posters all over our wall that's amazing <laughs> so we stole her so we stole her yeah. that's amazing and that i love how that also kind of is similar to how grace slick was discovered how she was with the great society before jefferson airplane yeah. And then, well, so, oh. that's really cool. Well, so, well, Emo, you are yeah. so well informed. Oh, oh, I know my stuff. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am a little bit younger than some people in the world. 
So he's a seventy nine year old you're talking to? Oh, it might be. You, you never know. I'm, I'm not exactly gonna say. <laughs> okay, I'm twenty four. Just for you to know. But um, and I am surrounded by a lot of right. local bands these days, and a lot of these modern day bands. And when I talk to them, so many of them are still influenced by Jefferson Starship and Jefferson Airplane, even after all of these years later. So what do you think it is about Jefferson Starship that's been able to maintain a loyal following for all of these decades? What is that secret that you guys have? I think it's the music. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, And and, and right now, I think it's it's the fact that right now that our band just feels so good. We're, 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 we're like one functioning unit that, that is together most of the time, you know, and, and when we're not together, we're wishing we were. So, which is unusual in my experience. <laughs> yeah, how you guys are stronger than ever. Yeah. Well, Orange County is so happy to have you, and we hope you love our crowd here, too. And oh, so... We, we love playing the coach out. Oh, legendary. Okay, so you've played there a few times, I assume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know what you're doing. You, you know Orange County. Speaking of your audience, I know Jefferson Starship and Jefferson Airplane has always been known to really just capture, as I said earlier, capture that spirit of youth and rebellion, especially during the 60s and 70s. And it just seems that all the rebels, the free spirits, the hippies, they all just flocked to your music because it was so relatable. Do you see that same spirit of youth and rebellion in your audience today? Is there still any of that presence that exists at your shows? We see that. It's just the only thing is, is a lot of the people that have have been with us over the years with all the uh, different faces and, and different evolution of the band. We have a lot of people, a lot of young people, but the older people, they don't really get up and move around because they can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, we, it's, it's a, like David said, it's a plethora of, of different people, you know, people that grew up with the music with the airplane, the early Jefferson Starship, and, and the younger people that were turned on by their parents and, and yeah. other people of that generation that, uh, you know, it's that full circle thing that comes around and, and it's beautiful to look at, you know, we appreciate that, and, uh, you know, the music, really, that we play is somewhat timeless because uh, of the library of songs that we have, and I think every band or, or any musician that's ever been in this band brings a, a, a different type of positivity to the band. This band that we have now is pretty special. Um, this is Donnie, by the way. I play drums. I played drums all through the 80s with uh, Jefferson Starship, um, and then it kind of morphed into the Starship for a bit. And then I went away from it and came back in 04 and 05. And it's, it's so much, it's hard to say that it was better than that time in the 80s because the 80s were kind of, they kind of stand by themselves. Yeah. But, uh, the beauty of the music is is that we're, we're seeing all kinds of different generations coming to see us. The younger ones, the mid, the older that we've had forever. Uh, and that has a lot to do with what we do on stage, which is music that is, is somewhat timeless in its own right. You know, we, we, we have all these different colors of, of time zones of the music that we play from the life of this band so um that's what that's what really makes it special and plus we we get off doing it so um it's like that double-edged sword that's uh just a yeah. beautiful thing, so to speak. well that was beautiful and so perfectly said i know there's so much history with your band so there's just Oh, there's just so much well, magic when you play. <laughs> well, speaking... Are you going to be at the show? I am, of course. Okay. So... Come up and introduce yourself so we know who you are, you know. I would love to. Oh, that sounds amazing. Cool. So... Well, there you go. Oh, yay. Speaking of your music and your songs, I do want to play some of your songs to get our audience stoked for your show. If you could go around... And say, what song, if you had to choose, made you want to join Jefferson Starship for each of you? And then, David, I know you were there during the formation of the band. So for you, out of all of them, if you had to choose, which song captures your whole career with the band? I know it's a toughie, so take some time to think about it if you uh, want to. (laughs) your favorite kid. Yeah. Go ahead, David. For you and the early airplane, what was it? Well, not, I'm not the early airplane. Cause wasn't in the I'm early airplane. <laughs> the late airplane. I like Jane. Yes. That's such a yeah, good one. Well, yeah, that one. Well, yeah, I was a co-writer on that. I was I was the instigator. 
Because <laughs> I knew and I wrote the song along with my friend uh, Jim McPherson. But that would be a good song for me. With help from Craig Chikisu and Paul Kentner. Yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. Yeah, one. I approve of your but choice. Yeah, Maybe we'll play that one for our listeners. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What about the rest of you? Well, I don't know. I've always liked the classics, but, I, you know, it's a combination. Like Chris, Chris said, it's it's hard to pick the right kid that you love. Yeah. <laughs> you love all your kids. But, uh, you know, the beauty of Kathy is any song that we do from the airplane to the early Jefferson Starship, she reminds me, since I got a chance to play with Grace to the 80s, um, she reminds me of a young Grace. So any song that we do that was part of Grace's life in the band in the early days is really one of my favorites. So I can't really name anything that's my favorite. I love White Rabbit. I love Somebody to Love. I love Jane. Uh, Stranger, um, there's a lot of songs that we do that I love that thank God are in our show. So it's, it's all good. I, I really, you know, I can't say that I have one favorite song, but if you want to rock the, the airwaves or something like that right now, I think Jane or, or, or even somebody love, you know, would, would do it right now. So I think we can do that. I think, I think we can rock out to some of those. All right. Now, like I said, a lot of people have been inspired by Jefferson Airplane and Jefferson Starship. But if we go back, who have been some of your biggest inspirations? Who did you grow up listening to that made you want to be a musician also? Johann Sebastian Bach. I was going to say Beethoven for you, David. <laughs> further than I, you're older than I thought. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I grew up listening to classical music, but then all of a sudden rock and roll happened, so... And when the Beatles happened, gee, I really well, got <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we recently went to see the Beatles Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. The whole band went, and we played different the next night. Uh, we, we're so influenced <laughs> by the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, it won't stop. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I need to check out that show, definitely. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, it's so fun. All right. Well, I know, sadly, we are a few days from the anniversary of Paul Kantner's death, which yeah. was such a loss to the music world. And he was just such a talented and creative individual, such a prominent role in Jefferson Airplane and Jefferson Starship. But I love that you guys have remained so strong in your music. But how has your music been affected by his death? Well, actually, we're, we're really out here carrying the fire. As, as to quote one of Paul's lyrics, we're carrying the fire for him. We dedicate every night uh, before we go on to Paul. And, uh, you know, when Paul left, Grace kind of put the band together and sat us down, and, and she was really, really adamant about keeping the music alive and, and being a part of it, not physically on stage, but somewhat behind the scenes. She's she's part of our family, always will be. And yeah, we miss Paul and, and we make sure that every night we play we dedicate it to him. He was he was pretty unique in his own way, musically and and as a person. So, you know, those people definitely when you get yeah. to know those people which are hard to get inside their heads sometimes. Um, he was a pretty special special guy. I mean, as unique as he was and sometimes it was hard to get close to and, and uh, but that's where the music came in. He kind of spoke through his music. Uh, and with Grace bringing us together and, like David said, carry the fire, keep this music alive, not only through Grace, but also through Paul's passing. And, and that's what we do. We have that spirit of Grace being with us and wanting us to do what we do, being a part of the band. And, and uh, you know, we, we try to put as much Paul's music in our show as we can. You know, it's hard... Because, you know, when you play, you only get an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. We try to put in as much as we can. But it's it's one of those shows that you come and see us, and, and people, some people don't know what to expect, and we do a lot of meet and greets afterwards. And the beauty of what we get back is people just are blown away and, and uh, are very verbal about it and, and tell us that uh, it's one of the best shows they've seen. It's not... It's not so much it's like a, a visual show. It's more of a, a, a musical visual thing, you know. It's, it's kind of all in what you feel about these songs. And these songs take people all over the place. And it's cool to see young people involved, but uh, it all works because of Grace and Paul, especially. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love hearing that. And yeah, I've, I've read that Grace is still such a supporter of the band. So I love that she's there and that the spirit of Paul is there. So you can really see that in your performances. Listeners out there, you do not want to miss this show. For my last question, 
as I mentioned that I am a millennial and I am surrounded by a lot of millennials. If you could leave one thing that you could tell all the young people out there that could bring them to your show, what would you say to them? Um, don't expect any hip hop. <laughs> So, I don't know. Check it out. I mean, it's like I said, be curious and come and see it. It's, you'll, have a, you'll have a great time. Do you want advice? What we, what do you think the millennials should, should be doing? Yes, or let's what? hear this advice. That's what I want to hear. Oh, no, no. We're, we're thankful for the millennials because you guys are going to save the earth. We, we <laughs> appreciate you guys. My, my yeah. grandchildren are millennials. Yeah, no, I, I am impressed with every millennial I know. Uh, thank, <laughs> yeah. thank you, children. I have faith in them. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to, oh, but they've got a lot of stuff to fix. You know, yes. you know what to do, yeah. and you know what to do, and do it. Don't listen to those people that say yeah. you can't. Yeah, we're, we're, we're behind you guys. We have faith. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, I will spread the word. That's what I try to do with my friends because not all of them have the best taste in music. So that's what I think I've been put on this earth to do is to spread music like Jefferson Starship and other kinds of rock and roll to just save it and keep it going for all these years. So it's with the help of you guys still performing and still inviting millennials along that keeps that spirit alive. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah, Thanks. thank you for being so well informed. My goodness. <laughs> oh, it's easy. I've grown up on you guys, so this is this is nothing. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking with me. Is there any last words you want to say? Any lyrics you want to throw out there? <laughs> Friday. We'll see you, we'll see you there. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what it is. Well, thank you again. This has been Jefferson Starship on 101.5 KSCI, Emo's Rock and Roll Magic Show. Right! Woo! <laughs>